Okay, today we're going to show you how to connect up a clock pulse generator which will generate some pulses like a clock and we'll feed that to a digital counter and we'll count those pulses in binary and then we'll feed that to a decoder and we'll convert the binary into decimal using a 7 segment display. So first things first, we start off with a signal potentiometer on these alpha boards and we'll connect a yellow link either side and this is where the input to our clock pulse generator will be we have a variable resistor in this case a 22k that will go in the top slot and a capacitor in this case a 20, 220 microfarad capacitor in the bottom slot. And then to that we're going to connect an inverter or a NOT gate. A NOT gate of course gives you out the opposite to what you have at the input. If you've got zero at the input you'll get a logic one at the output. Or if you have a high voltage or one at the input you get a zero at the output. And we'll connect a 6 volt supply to connect up power to the circuit. Now just now, there is no input voltage across the voltage divider here. So, no voltage across the capacitor, a high voltage coming out of the inverter. Not a lot happening there then. So, what happens then if we feed the output from the inverter, which is a high voltage, back to the input of the clock pulse generator. Then we'll have a high voltage across the voltage divider and the capacitor will start to charge up. When the capacitor charges up, eventually the voltage across the capacitor will be a high enough voltage to give us a logic 1 to the input of the inverter and we should get a zero at the output and hopefully the capacitor is now charging up I'm varying the resistor so that we get the output from the inverter flashing so what's happening is the capacitor is charging up so that when it's a high voltage across the capacitor we have a logic 1 going to the inverter which becomes a logic zero at the output the zero is fed back to the input the capacitor discharges the input voltage falls to a zero the output becomes a one I'm going to slow this right down and the capacitor is constantly charging discharging and hence we get a constantly changing one and zero at the input and hence a 1, 0 at the output. And if we adjust the size of the variable resistor, or indeed the size of the capacitor, we can adjust the rate of the flashes. Smaller resistance, higher flash rate, capacitors charging and discharging at a quicker rate. A higher resistance is a slower flash rate, and if I adjust that so it's flashing about once per second, then we're generating pulses like a digital clock at a rate of one per second. If I change the size of the capacitor, I can take out this 220 microfarad and replace it with a much bigger capacitor, and then the flash rate will be even slower because the capacitor which is now five times bigger will flash at a rate of five times slower again I'll go back to the smaller capacitor again And then this time, again it's flashing at a faster rate. 